Hi guys, it's Andy from Unsick Fun TV and uh, this is just a quick news in brief and uh, what we want to talk about today is the latest rumours, how much of it you believe, I don't know, but Lionel Messi. Now, I think since Pets arrived, we've been linked with Messi every single transfer, window, will he leave Barcelona, won't he? Uh, would he come and play in the Premier League under Pep? And I think most of the time we've always just dismissed it absolutely outright and said no chance will uh, will Lionel Messi come to Manchester City. But, and these are rumours, but uh, obviously we saw what happened uh, to Barcelona versus Bayern uh, and we've uh, heard all the rumours lately over the last three, four months that uh, the Barcelona players uh, are not happy, in particular um, Lionel Messi is not happy uh, and the current status at Barcelona uh, with the management team and also the board of directors. So this has been ongoing now for a few months and it doesn't seem, uh, it doesn't seem to be letting up and obviously with Barca going out um, of the Champions League in the manner that they did and City are now out of the Champions League, obviously uh, the speculation uh, has risen its head again and the rumours are that Messi has allegedly said that he wants out of Barcelona. How much of that you believe? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just pass that over to you guys. But um, the next stage would be, OK, can City afford him? Well, as we know, Lionel Messi brings in huge revenues uh, for Barcelona. Um, not just in kit sales, but uh, you know advertisements and things like that. Um, so sponsors uh, potentially will put money into the deal as well. He is signed to Adidas, and I'll just go through some of the figures I brought up on my laptop um, with regards to it. So if we talk about the figures first, well, Messi's latest contract is reportedly worth a net after tax. £500,000 per week. Now, clearly, that's a huge, huge sum of money uh, every single week. Um, now, uh, if you look at it before signing this deal, he was the latest deal. Um, he was um, estimated to be on around about £336,000 a week net. Uh, now, um, the new deal was given to Lionel Messi because of Neymar being sold for the money that he was, and obviously removing Neymar's extortionate salary uh, off the uh, off the wage bill, so they could afford to pay Messi that type of money. Now, if you look at um, sponsorship deals, well, obviously when Ronaldo signed his contract with Nike, the rumours were that uh, over, a, and that was a lifetime contract with Nike, that he would potentially earn a billion dollars. Um, and Messi he is supposed to have signed something similar with Adidas. Um, he, looking at it, he also has his sponsorship deals with Pepsi, um, Gillette, and also um, Turkish Airlines. And uh, as part of last year's celebrity rich list, Forbes valued his endorsements at £27 million for that particular year last year. So that is some money, uh, and I'm sure they could, if 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 City could afford it, and if City could do a deal um, like a marketing deal and things like that, then that five hundred thousand pound a week net would be a major problem. So, first question: Can City afford it? Um, it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Can they afford it? Yes, I'm sure they could afford it. I'm sure we could move certain players on. Obviously, the deal will be amortised over um, an extended period. Um, yeah, I, I'm guessing they could um, afford it. Would they do it? I don't know, because he's 33 years of age. And uh, yeah, you'd suggest he's got a couple of more years, maybe at the current level. And uh, after that, his time will be gone. So it might even be a short-term deal, a three-year deal, let's say. Uh, and he tries to earn as much money as he can in those three years. And I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure Man City could bring in huge sponsorships um, to help support his extortionate wages. The second thing is, where would he fit into a Pep system? Well, Messi can pretty much play anywhere. Uh, we know that. 
Um, there has been talk, would that put Kevin De Bruyne's nose out of place uh, because he's the main man at the moment? I think I think Kevin De Bruyne would relish having the opportunity to play alongside Messi in, in, you know, in that attacking midfield role. Um, so I don't think there'd be a major issue between Kevin De Bruyne uh, and Messi uh, playing in the same team. I really don't. Uh, let's face it, you want to play with the best players in world football and Messi is still up there on his day. Um, number one, number two best player in world football with Ronaldo um, and possibly still will be. Uh, does that mean he could cope with the demands of the Premier League? Well, I, th I think he can. He's tough. It he takes tackles. He, you know, There's no rolling around with him. He gets kicked left, right and centre in La Liga and just gets up and carries on. So I don't think there'd be any anything um, to worry about from the demands uh, of him playing in the Premier League. But... Uh, where else would he play? Well, he could play in a 10 role. De Bruyne could play in an 8. Um, he could play as a, a striker, almost like a false 9 role uh, at the end of the day. That would potentially um, ease the outgoings if we were to come in um, uh, this season, at uh, this well, transfer window, and buy another striker, which a lot of people think that we should be doing. Um, obviously, he'd have his best mate there. In Sergio Aguero, so you know Sergio would help him settle in really easily. Uh, Sergio seems to enjoy his time um, at Manchester City, been there for a long time, so I'm sure they've spoken about this on numerous occasions. Uh, so could he fit in City's um, role? Absolutely, of course he can. He can play anywhere, uh, and you know if he can score that many goals in La Liga season in season out, you've got to think Messi would score at least 25 goals in the Premier League with free kicks and, and everything else with, with De Bruyne and, and the like. So, um, yes, I think it could fit in. Uh, Pep will, Pep, will, I'm sure Pep would absolutely love him to be at City. Um, and I think a lot of City fans would, and I'm sure there'd be plenty of City fans that say, no, we don't need him and we don't want him. But um, I think they'll look at it from a business point of view uh, and a footballing point of view. Now, it would bring such high profile to City, which, let's face it, is uh, one of the things that the owner wants. He wants the club's name out there across the world. And if you think about it, it's about generating fan base across the world. One thing Messi would do is sell shirts throughout the whole world and uh, would definitely heighten the global appeal of Manchester City. Well, uh, you know, let's face it, um, we're still in the stages of building up um, the club worldwide. We don't have a bigger fan base than uh, so many of the clubs out uh, across Europe. So it's something that City wants to drive towards. But anyway, what do you think? Paper talk, rumour talk, load of nonsense. He just wants a new contract. What if the rumours are true that Xavi might be coming in as the next manager or Ronald Koeman? Would that satisfy um, Messi to stay at Barcelona? And let's face it, um, I think he, I think deep down he would love to finish his career at Barcelona, but I don't think it's just about the manager. Um, I think it's about some of the signings that uh, Barcelona have made. And he also has had some major falling outs with the board of directors at Barcelona as well. So is this the time? If it is, now's the time to go after it and get the deal done. Um, if not, is it just another game of Messi sort of, you know, trying to, Get more money out of Barcelona, maybe. Who knows? But uh, I'm sure everyone will have their say on the Lionel Messi rumours. Uh, is it a load of nonsense? Do you think he could fit into the system and where would he play? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget, we will be doing a player ratings video uh, about the Champions League exit to Lyon on Saturday evening. And at some point this week, we will be doing a full season review um, of... Uh, of Manchester City. But anyway, this is Andy from Man City Fan TV. I want to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers. The views have been absolutely through the roof. It's been absolutely incredible and we want to say a massive thank you. But don't forget, keep subscribing, hit that bell icon and we'll see you soon. Set, set, set.